Okay, so this video is again looking at the field readings, but this time around what we're going to look at is the change log, which is another one of the logging features available in the controller. Now I've already gone online with our real field device, which is actually the demo box on my desk over here. Um, but if I go to its change log up the top here, then that gives me a record, sort of an audit trail of all of the settings changes that have occurred inside that device. So you'll see that on this time that I've gone online with it, I have set the time and set the time zone as well, right? which um, records both what the old value was and then what the new value is for the, the update, along with the source of the change. Um, that is timestamped, but also log ID'd. So in the case that we have old timestamps or that there's been for some reason a loss of time, um, for example, the device has been powered down for a very long time, then we still have a sequential series of those logs that we can make sense of them afterwards. You'll also see that further down, um, if you make any changes on the HMI panel or through any other source, that that source of change will be recorded along with whatever the change was. So for example, here, auto reclose was turned off and then turned from off to on. So we have an update of that status. And in fact, if I go over here, I can, for example, turn my cold load on, and that will come through in just a second, about once every five seconds it um, updates. But while we're waiting for that one to come through, you'll be able to see that further down here, we've got multiple different sources of change. So for example, um, this change here of the um, was done by the system itself. There's a change from a logic source, more from HMI, so there's, there's quite a lot there um, in terms of variation and changes to what you can do. Now, one of the things that's common across all of the individual log files is that you can actually do a comparison of time between two different records. So if I select this one and then use control and click on another one, it will give me a timestamp difference there in um, hours, minutes, um, seconds, and milliseconds there. So it'll tell you what the difference is between those. Um, and of course, yep, there are cold load pickup um, HMI panel toggle has come through. So turn it from off to on, and the source of the change is the HMI. So there you have it. That is the change log, which is a audit trail inside Node Power CMS, and it's something that is kept on all of the relays um, in the field, and it's something that's really useful for being able to work out exactly what's changed within your Node Power RC control.